Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to delete system volume information in Windows 10. So we're going to just jump straight into it. I'm going to start by left clicking on the start button. And then I'm going to left click on the search menu and I'm going to type in control panel. Should be listed directly above the desktop app writing right here. So you want to left click on that. So left click on system and security. Scroll down this list until you get to administrative tools and left click on that. and then double click on services now you want to scroll down until you get the distributed link tracking client Right-click on it, left-click on Properties, underneath Startup Type, left-click on the little drop-down area here, left-click on Disabled, and then left-click on Apply, and then OK. So at this point, you can close out of the Services window, and now we want to head back to the Start menu and right-click on the Start button, and then left-click on Command Prompt Admin. If you receive a user account control window, select yes. So in most cases, it would be the D drive. However, I'm going to do T in my instance. But for most people, it'll be D. And then colon. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now we're underneath our correct root drive. We're going to type in R, M, D, I, R, space. Then we're going to do the quotation signs. System volume information. I'm going to put a quote and quotation sign. And then I'm going to do forward slash s. And I'm going to hit enter. And then you're going to be prompted, are you sure? Hit Y on your keyboard to select yes and then hit enter. And then you should be pretty much good to go from here. At this point you can close out and then restart the computer and hopefully you'll be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.